This, this video is going to cover um, how we shift the budget line, how the budget line will shift and pivot uh, when prices or incomes change. So what we're going to have here, and this is a, an example that we'll have gone over in class. So I'm going to go over the exact same uh, uh, example that we would have gone in, in class. If you weren't in class and you see on the, the slides, there's a slide in which uh, is called shifting the budget line. And, and all of this information is, is there on that slide. So I'm just going to recreate what uh, I will have done in, in class in this case. Here. So we're going to start with um, budget line number one and graph that. And then look at what happens as we change uh, the prices of the different goods and, uh, and, and, and what happens exactly to the budget line. So. In the first case, we have a price of $3 for X, a price of $6 for Y, and the income of $30. So to graph this case here, what we would do is um, we figure out how much uh, you know, the uh, axis here how you'd be able to buy if you buy all X. Well, that's 30 divided by 3. So that would be the uh, income divided by the price of X. And... Uh, in this first case here, that's 30 divided by 3, so that's 10. You, if you spent all of your money with the first budget line on um, X, you could buy 10 units of X, and of course then you'd have to have 0 units of Y. And then if you spent all of your money on Y, well the price of Y is $6, so that would give you uh, 30 divided by 6, you'd be able to buy 5 units of Y. So our first budget line that we'll draw in here at 5 and 10 is going to look like this, and that's BL1. I'm going to try to use different colors here. I don't know how well that will show up. But that's BL1. And then what happens is, okay, we're, we're going to change the price of Y to $2. I mean, I'm sorry, the price of X to do $2. This will show what happens when the price of X falls. If you're a consumer and the price of a good falls, a price of a good that you buy falls, you're better off. You're like, oh, you can you can buy more um, X. And so to figure this out here, what we do is say 30 divided by 2 is 15. And before, we had 10 because 30 was divided by 3. As the price of X falls, remember since uh, down here, we're going to have I divided by the price of X to give us the X axis intercept. As you have a smaller price of X in here, this ratio gets bigger. In this case, it goes from uh, 10 to, to 15. So we'd be out here at 15. And for the Y axis intercept, well, the price of Y didn't change, income didn't change. So we don't move, uh, the, the budget line's not gonna move here. So I'll draw this in here and that's BL2. Our third budget line is going to show a higher price of X, a higher price of, than what we started with uh, for BL1. We started with a price of 3, and now the price of X is going to go up to 5. Well, at a price of $5, 30 divided by 5 is 6. So if we come here, here's 6. And we know for BL3, you'll only be able to buy 6 units of X if you buy, if you spend all your money on X, and so you have no units of Y. And again, the price of Y is still $6, income still 30, so nothing's happened to the Y intercept. We'll draw this in here, and this will be BL3. The first three budget lines we've drawn in here show what happens as the price of X changes. So as the price of X changes, the budget line pivots. It's anchored here on the Y axis um, because it, the y-intercept is i divided by the price of y. When the price of y is not changing and i is not changing, if the only thing that's changing is the price of x, this intercept is anchored here. And then the budget line is pivoting. It moves out when the price of x falls, and it moves in when the price of x goes up. All right, so now let's go to uh, budget line number four. Number four, well, we're going to reset the price of X to $3, and income still $30, so we're going to have this, uh, we're going to have 10 for our X-axis intercept, and then what we did was we lowered the price of Y from $6 to $5, 30 divided by 5 is 6, so we come up here, and we know that the Y-axis intercept would now be 6, and we've got 10 for our X-axis intercept, 
and we'll draw this in here. And so this will be BL4. And then for budget line number five, we raise the price of Y to $7.50. Well, I picked that because 30 divided by 750 is going to be four. And so uh, the price of Y goes up. A person will now be able to buy uh, four units of Y if they spend all their money on Y. So we have this at, in, intercept here. And price of X is um, $3, so we, we still have the 10 intercept. And so here's BL5. Now, if we look at BL1, BL5, and BL3, there are four, uh, the ones where we vary the price of Y, what we see is that if we vary the price of Y and hold the price of X constant, our X axis intercept does not change. So the budget line pivots along the Y or pivots anchored here on the X axis with the Y axis intercept changing when the price of good at Y changes. Again, moves out as the price of Y falls, moves uh, in as the price of Y uh, goes up. Okay, now number six. Um, six and seven, we're gonna change income. Income goes to 42 with, um, with uh, budget line number six. So 42 divided by six, divided by three is going to be um, 14. So for number, uh, line number six, 42 divided by three is 14. That's going to give us an intercept here. So we'll call, color that in. And then 42 divided by six is seven. So we come up here. And we can connect these two dots here, the intercept of 14 on the x-axis and 7 on the y-axis. And then that's going to be BL6. And then finally what we'll do, the last one we have here, we have a price of x of 3, a price of y of 6, income of $24. The income is falling. So for BL7, we have 24 divided by 3 is going to be 8. That's going to give us right here. Eight. And then 24 divided by 6 is going to give us 4. I already have that here, so we'll draw this in here. Okay, so now what we have here is uh, BL1, our original one, BL6, and BL7. Those are showing the effects of a change in income holding the price as constant. So what we'll see here is that the budget line is sh shifting in or out. And if you draw this carefully enough, this actually should be shifting parallel. The budget line should have the same slope. Remember the slope of the budget line, uh, the, the slope of the budget line is minus PX over PY. If you compare budget lines one, six, and seven, the price of X and the price of Y have not changed. So the slope of the budget line is unchanged. The, we, all we do by changing the income is change both axis uh, intercepts, but they change proportionally. So what we can see here is that there was a, if we compare BL1 and, and BL6, there was a 40% increase in the amount of X you could buy and a 40% increase in the amount of Y you could buy. Well, 40% increase in the amount of X you could buy if you were buying only X. And then if you bought only Y, you could have a 40% increase in, in the amount of Y that you could buy. So the budget line shifts in or out, but remains parallel as income changes. So this is showing you what happens, uh, again, different ways that the budget line can either shift or pivot as the price of, uh, the, price of the two goods or income changes. So now we know how the budget line moves in, in different circumstances.